Let's continue exploring SNR multipath and elevation angles. So here is the another plot. And in this plot, uh, the horizontal axis represents the elevation angle. Okay, the range of elevation angles in zero to 90 degree from horizon to zenith. And this uh, in this bottom panel, the vertical axis is a multipath effect. So multipath versus elevation angle. And in this top panel, the vertical axis represents the HNR. So HNR versus elevation angles. Let's see. Or we have already seen that or relation between multipath and elevation angles. Lower elevation angle means higher multipath. So there is a, a higher fluctuations, larger fluctuations uh, at the low elevation angle and elevation angle keeps going up when the satellites keeps going to zenith. The fluctuation seen in multipath uh, is smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. So uh, higher, higher, higher the elevation angles, smaller fluctuations, smaller fluctuations or smaller multipath effects. So but this is the relationship between multipath and elevation angles. For SNR, for a low elevation, uh, we have low SNR value. And when the elevation angle goes up, the SNR values go up. Elevation angle keeps on going up. The elevation angles, when satellites keeps on going to zenith, the SNR value keeps increasing and it keeps increasing and it remains um, constant. Uh, okay, we can see that there is a constant SNR value. So what? Oh, from 45 degree, let's say from 40 degree upwards, the SNR value remains almost same and that is 45, 40 to 45 decibel hertz. Yeah. So this is the relationship between SNR and, and elevation angle. Okay.